Welcome to Ed Ninja's first video of IGCC Accounting. This video is Introduction to Accounting. Over here, let's start by learning what is accounting. Accounting is known as the language of business. It is known as so because it aids in imparting the information of the business to all its stakeholders. It helps in communicating and comprehending the information of the business. Our accounting has mostly two parts, bookkeeping and accounting. So let's learn what bookkeeping is. Bookkeeping is a detailed record of all the transactions that take place in a business. All the transactions, small or big. For example, if I purchase a eraser for $1 or I purchase a property of land for $1 million, all of these are recorded. And mostly all businesses should, should even small ones and even big ones, because or else something might be missed or overlooked. Our bookkeeping follows a double entry format. What a double entry format means is that each and every single transaction will have two impacts on the business. For example, if I purchase an eraser, my bookkeeping records will have two impacts. Let's look at it how. I purchased an eraser for $1. What happens is my stationary account, my stationary account will be debited by $1. At the same time, my bank account will be credited by $1. My stationary account is debited because an eraser is added over there. By the same time, my bank account is credited because money is taken out of there to pay for the eraser. Similarly, all the transactions have two impacts on the business's books. While uh, one book, one account might increase, the other one will decrease for that transaction to take place. Now let's learn about accounting. In accounting, we use the bookkeeping records that we created in bookkeeping to create financial statements at regular intervals. Regular, regular intervals usually mean annually, but they can be created at any point of time. Our financial statements include income statement and the balance sheet. Let's look at what an income statement is. The income statement comprises of a trading account, and a profit and loss statement. So first of all, it tells the owner that whether the company is making a profit or a loss, which is very important because if we know that the company is making a profit, it means that the owner has a return on investment. That means funds are available for the future growth of the business. That means that the owner is getting some money to use also for his domestic purposes. At the same time, if the owner sees a loss, this means there's no return on investment, which could mean that if this continues, there'll be no funds available to run the business and the business might eventually have to close. So this is what our income statement was. Now let's look at the balance sheet. The balance sheet includes, uh, shows the amount of assets, capital and liabilities that our business has on a particular date. All these, the income statement and balance sheet help us in two main things. Help, it helps the owners and the managers mainly in comparing the performance of the business and planning for the future. Let's look at how it helps us compare the performance of a business. These bookkeeping records help us compare the performance of business with other businesses. For example, I have Toyota, a car manufacturing company. I look at its financial statements and I see its performance and I compare the financial statements with those of its competitors, so of other businesses in the same industry, such as Tata or Hyundai or Audi, and I compare the performance with, okay, Ta Toyota has uh, made this much profit, whereas uh, Audi has made more, or Tata has made less, so I can compare the performances. These were only examples, uh, not real figures. Going on with comparing the business's performance with its own performance, from which I mean that if I have the financial statements of Tata for 2020, I can compare the business's own performance with its previous performances, such as how it performed in 2019 compared to 2020. Along with this, our financial statements also help in planning for the future. Let's take two examples to understand how the manager or the owner might use the financial statements to plan for the future. 
For example, I see that I have a loan to pay five years later and it's a big loan. So what I might do is from the profits that I'm going to make in the next five years, I'll keep collecting a small amount and keep it into a separate account so I can pay the loan in the future. So my financial statement, which was the balance sheet, helped me see that, oh, I have a loan. Okay, what do I need to do? Keep money separate to pay it off in the future. Similarly, if I see in my financial statements, I have a lot of free cash available in the bank. So what I can do is I can use that free cash somewhere else so that I have a higher return on investment instead of it just being over there sitting idle. So we saw how it helps us plan for the future too. Another important thing over here are accounting ratios. Accounting ratios use two or more figures from our financial statements to create, to show different ratios, to compare the performances of the business. And at the same time, help us plan for the future by, for example, showing us the amount of liabilities we have uh, compared to our assets and various different ratios. We'll learn about this in much more detail in our future videos. In the next video, we'll learn about assets, capitals and liabilities. What are these? Thank you.